Hole, Jennifer's Body, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'll play through all the different sections right at the start here. After that, I'll go back through, give all the explanation for it. Please hit that subscription button. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this video and want to see more like it. And now, let's get into the lesson. Okay, so standard tuning on this one, EAD, GBE. And for the intro, uh, we have this initial guitar, and then we have a second guitar that kind of comes over the top of it, kind of playing the same thing. Um, the first guitar, we're just doing this quick, you know, eighth note down strumming, and uh, it's basically part of an E chord where we're doing an open low E, seven on the A with the six on the D, and it's just a quick one, two, three. <laughs> And then we just take that seven and six and make it a six and a five. So just bump it down a fret. And this makes it like an E minor, major seven, but no big deal. It's just kind of that with the open low E still. And with this, we strum it, you know, about half a dozen times. All right, and uh, from here on out, the guitars kind of match up. We come up to uh, 10 on the low E with a nine on the A. And this is just basically a D. Three strums there, and then we kick it down to seven low E six on the A for a B, and do about half dozen strums here. All right, and the second guitar that's going over the top of all this, it kind of starts the same way with that seven six in the open low E. All right, but instead of going down to that six and five, the second guitar bumps up to the ten and nine on the A and D. Right, and just does uh, some strums there. Okay, so it's kind of doing like a G over the top of that E minor, just kind of make like an interesting harmony there. Uh, but then it matches up again uh, with the other guitar, where it just comes up to that 9 and 10 on the A and the low E, so it just kind of jumps up a set. All right, and then kicks down to that 7 and 6 on the E and A. Okay, so there's just that one chord that kind of swaps between the uh, the two different guitars, but uh, more or less the same for the intro. For the verse section, uh, we just do basically what the second guitar was doing in the intro, but we can, you know, throw in a, a couple open strings with some of the stuff, so a little more loose kind of chord strumming. Um, so it does the, the E initially, and we just kind of stick with that low E, 7A, 6D. Okay, just kind of a like a more of a chord strummy type feel. And if you hit some open strings under it, incidentally, no big deal. All right, and then it'll bump up to that 10 A 9 D. And with this, you can throw in like an open G and a B under it. It sounds nice, it's just part of a big G chord. And then it uh, kicks down to that low set, the 10 and nine on the low E and the A. With this, you can throw in like an open D under it, sounds good. It's all part of a D chord. And then just kick it down to the B at that seven and six. All right, for the pre-chorus section, we can kick on the distortion, kind of switch over to more like power chord style. And uh, it sticks with the, the E still, so we're just doing an open low E and just do a power chord there at the seven A nine on the D. Uh, you can even throw in a nine G if you want. Okay, just kind of a shuffle strum there, and then it 
it bumps up, it goes from that 7 to 9 up to a 9 and 11, and then lands on the 10 and 12. <laughs> And then it uh, sounds like it switches down to just octaves, low octaves, where we go to the, the 10 on the E and the 12 D for a, just a big D octave. And then slides down to the 7 and 9 on the D for the uh, B octave. And the chorus, just straight up power chords here. Uh, start, start on the B, okay, so 7 E, 9 A. Down to the G at the 3 and 5. Okay, jump up a set for the D power chord at the 5A, 7D. And then just bring it down a set to the A at the 5E, 7 on the A. Alright, there's uh, the second part of the chorus where things kind of like get a little more uh, spread out, you know, a little sparse sounding. and. It's doing the same uh, root notes, the B, G, D, A, but we're throwing in this uh, open B string here, uh, you know, alternating with each bass note. So, you know, we hit that, that B at the seven of the low E, and then we'll just hit an open B string. All right, shift the bass note down to the three for the G, and then hit that open B string. Okay, hit our five on the A for the D, and then the open B. And then finish with the five on the low E and the open B. Okay, 